Hey, what's up, guys? Jay Zeb here, and it is Wednesday, so happy Wheel Wednesday, my dudes. Uh, that wheel, right there, that's the one I'm talking about. So, every wheel, if you don't know what Wheel Wednesday is, every Wednesday, I put all these different packs up on the wheel, I spin the wheel, and then I sometimes open what the wheel tells me to, sometimes I just do whatever I want anyway, but either way, we're gonna open a bunch of Pokemon card packs, so I hope you're interested in this. Um, that's pretty much it, I'm gonna open eight packs of cards, loose booster packs, and uh, hopefully we pull some bangers today. So if you guys like content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free for you, and it helps me out immensely, so thanks in advance for that, I really appreciate it, and uh, without further ado, let's start spinning. All right, so here's a little bit closer up on the wheel. We have a bunch of different packs on here. Silver Tempest, Fusion Strike, Temporal Forces, Scarlet and Violet, Twilight Masquerade, Asher Radiance, Caldean Fates, Brilliant Stars, Paradox Rift, Lost Origin, and uh, Crown Zenith. I, I'm pretty sure I have all of these still in the box, but uh, we also got a JZAB slot here. And uh, if I hit that one, then I get to open whatever I feel like. So we're gonna do uh, eight packs today and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully we can get some good stuff. Here we go. First spin. Oh, almost the J Zip. All right, so that's Silver Tempest. Silver Tempest. All right, uh, let's spin it again. Here we go. All right, Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike. All right, next. Back to the wheel. That's what I'm supposed to. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Scarlet and Violet base. Okay, okay. I don't typically open this a lot, so uh, I'm excited for that. All right, back to the wheel. Here we go. <laughs> Number four, Paldean Fates. All right, all right, all right. I like me some Paldean Fates. So, all right, that's fourth pack. Back to the wheel. Let's see. What's number five? It's temporal forces. <laughs> temporal forces. All right, back to the wheel. Twilight Masquerade. All right, all right, all right. Twilight Mask. All right, how many? I don't even know how many packs that just was. I'm not counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's six. We got two more spins. All right, back to the wheel. What do we have next? Temporal Forces again. Okay, all right. This is actually the last pack of Temporal Forces I have in the wheel, so we're going to take that off. And I'm actually going to add, I have picked up some battle styles, and I know BS is the same as uh, Brilliant Stars, so we're going to put a T on here. That's the BST is battle styles. All right, here we go. Last pack for the Wheel Wednesday today. Here we go. Brilliant stars. All right, all right. Not, not too bad. Not too bad on the packs. All right, pretty good lineup. Honestly, we're ending with Brilliant Stars. Got some Temporal Forces, Twilight Masquerade. Lots of Scarlet and Violet, but uh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Actually, this whole lineup I'm cool with. Silver Tempest still need... The alt art Lugia. Hopefully, I can pull something. Silver Tempest has actually not been super great for me lately. I've been uh, opening it here and there, and uh, I just really haven't been hitting a, a ton. So, hopefully, today that is not the case, but we shall see. Silver Tempest. Uh, I actually I had a lot of this to open at one point, and I opened it all, and I still did not pull that Lugia, which is upsetting, but. You know, what are you going to do? Zubat. Okay, Magirna, Magirna, let's go, let's go, let's go. Number one, first pack magic. And then number two, uh, this is actually a pretty dope card. I like it. I like it. Very interesting. Interesting V card. Magirna is a weird Pokemon uh, because it's just, it's just weird. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it weird? Maybe I'm weird. Uh, okay, all right, hey, first pack magic, uh-oh, first pack magic, so that's cool, and then, uh, next we're gonna get some hit out of fusion strike, maybe? Let's see, let's see, um, 
yeah, Silver Tempest, man, like I said, uh, really hasn't been giving me too many hits lately. That's pretty cool that I got one. Uh, and then Fusion Strike never gives me hits because Fusion Strike is a jerk. And that's all I got to say. But I love it. <laughs> I love Fusion Strike. There's a lot of good artwork in Fusion Strike. And um, I just want to pull everything and it never lets me get any hits. So um, I'm upset with Fusion Strike most of the time. All right, here we go. Mantine, Mantine, Star You, and. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Now, uh, that might be my fault, too. You know, I'm putting too, too high of expectations on Fusion Strike because, you know, I expect it to perform well, and uh, it never does. <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe that's on me. All right, Scarlet Violet Base. Scarlet Violet Bates, honestly, I have not really opened a ton of this set. Mostly because it's not really one of my favorites, but also I pulled the top two cards out of this set. Um, and then I kind of just didn't really have any strong will to open it, you know? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with this set, it's fine. Uh, it's just for whatever reason, I just kind of have been like, meh. So I have some packs here and there, but... I haven't really opened it. There we go. Let's go. Go and then we get Arvin illustration. Let's go. All right. See, I'm I'm literally talking smack, kind of. And then it just pulls out something beautiful like that. That's actually a super dope card. This is what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with Scarlet and Violet. This card is kind of dented on the top, though. That's unfortunate. Not a double banger. Do you see? Can you see that little bit of a dent? It's kind of really hard. It's like right here. It's hard to tell in the camera but oh, let's go yo okay sometimes wheel wednesday is very kind to me sometimes not so much but uh that's dope and i will take it thank you very much scarlet and violet i appreciate it yeah okay and then <laughs> that, that's what i'm saying and i really haven't opened a ton of scarlet and violet base so like i know i don't have that card like i said i i pulled those couple cards and then i just kind of like was like eh. i think i've opened one booster box of scarlet and violet base and then I've opened like some ETBs and like that's really it. And then everything else has been in like collection boxes or in um, like tins or whatever. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty sweet. I will take that. Let's go. That's a win in my book. All right. Now we got Paldean Fates known for having some hits. Okay, I, this is three. <sighs> Wait a minute. No, Fusion Strike didn't. Silver Tempest and Fusion. I was gonna be like, wait, did we get hit out of everything? Silver Tempest gave us the V. Fusion Strike gave us nothing, but um Eldan Fate's giving us a Squawkabilly. That Squawkabilly is also in another set, which I believe is Scarlet and Violet Base. Um so I always get confused. Like I'm like, man, I feel like I've pulled that a bunch of times, but I think it's just because it's in that other set as well. It's the same artwork and everything. Paldean Fates, man, slowly becoming one of my favorite Scarlet and Violet sets. Um, you know, everybody talks up how they evolve. How they evolve is very good. I talk it up too. Um, 151. I never count 151 because it doesn't feel like it's a Scarlet and Violet, so I just never count it. But Paldean Fates is starting to become, I think, sliding into the number one slot besides 151 for Scarlet and Violet. I really like that set. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. So. All right, Temporal Forces. Not quite, not quite. All right, that's okay, that's okay. Now we got some Twilight Masquerade, another set that quietly raised its own value with me. I don't know, I, I started opening this set not expecting anything. I didn't expect much out of this. And then uh, I started opening it and I was kind of like, man, I kind of fell in love with this set. Again, it's not as good as, as like Pelde Evolved and stuff or Pelde and Fates. But it is a pretty decent set. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I think also, though, because I do play the game, the, the meta is there. And I think that's part of it, too. Like people that don't play the game, they seem like they didn't like this set very much. Um, but if you play, then there's some good cards in here and whatnot. So. Except for when I'm opening it right now, then there's no cards, but, uh, you know. <laughs> All right, we're down to the last two packs already. Wow. All right, Temporal Forces. Pack number two. First pack gave us nothing. Temporal Forces, another set. I actually opened a decent amount of this set, and uh, I got a couple pretty good cards. I didn't get my chase cards. 
Right, I got the uh, Iron Crown, but I didn't get the Raging Bolt or nothing. Um, so I don't mind opening this set, but I don't think it's like up there for one of my favorite sets of Scarlet and Violet. I mean, it's better than base and everything, but uh, I kind of like Paradox Rift better than Temporal Forces. I don't know if that's crazy. I'm kind of crazy. So hopefully. Uh, all right, last pack, Brilliant Stars. If you guys watch this far, hey, don't forget, I am uh, doing my first ever rip and ship on August 25th. So uh, if you want to get part of that, I'll put, uh, I should, I guess, I'll put my website right here at the bottom. It's also in the description of the video. Go check it out. Go buy some rip and slip, uh, rip and ship slots. They're $8.75 a piece. I will be doing the rip and ship August 25th, which is a Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and hopefully we get some good stuff. There's going to be some Cosmic Eclipse and some uh, Pokemon XY Evolutions in there. So, um, yeah, if you guys are interested, go to the website. If you didn't know, I, I made a website. I'm now I now have a store. I'm selling stuff. There's also some um, mystery packs on the on the website um, and some merch and stuff. So go check it out. Thank you for your consideration. All right, Brilliant Stars, last pack, last possible chance for a hit. Can we do it? Brilliant Stars is rough, man. I, I never really pull from Brilliant Stars, so. All right, uh, hold on, give me a second. All right, guys, so here are our pulls from today. The best, ah, come on, hands down. The Arvin, super dope, super sick card. Skull and Violet Base, man, like I said, it's not like it's a bad set, it's just not the best set. But this card's dope, and uh, it's it's the best one I pulled today, and that's by a giant margin. These two cards, they're still cool. You know, EXV, still cool, but not nearly as good as the Arvin. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to subscribe, press that little button in the bottom uh, right-hand corner. And then, like I said, I'm doing my rip and ship. I opened a store. Go check it out. It's in the description. Um, and uh, hopefully you can find some stuff that you like. Okay, well, um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.